all right now this video i'm actually very 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 excited to talk about because as y'all know if you guys know who the hell i am i am the broly man broly has been one of my favorite characters for so many years and now i get to talk to him or not talk to him but i get to talk about him in another continuity that everybody seems to be favoring right now so let's just keep on this legend hype going and let's get right into it What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Ooch, and of course, we are back again, once again. How y'all doing today? So, my man Broly. Listen, you guys already know I'm the Broly man, okay? I have been a very avid Broly supporter all throughout his tough times. I mean, when we didn't know why the hell this dude was crying in the first place or why he was hating on Kakarot, and there was really no reason that was actually indicated as a very straightforward answer that was just full of vagueness i actually did a panel which you guys can actually check out uh right here on this channel that i recorded from kamea con 2 i was actually invited to attend kamea con 2 for that panel and i give a whole panel about broly and in part of that panel was essentially why i always believe that he is the character that is the embodiment of chance and possibility right because this dude originally came from the non-canon realm of things in the dragon ball universe and i always thought you know back when we didn't have new dragon ball content official ones like you know like you know before super ever was even a thing i always believed that when that would come back into play i felt that based off of broly's obvious popularity despite his story and character just really being not that great i knew that he was gonna be the one to break out of that non-canon realm right here we are we're way past that super comes out then he comes into that like i originally predicted and now he is a part of the first big portion of legend a dragon ball tale and there's a lot of things that we gotta talk about here that i want to bring up to you guys and get your opinions and get your thoughts to see how y'all are feeling about it and if there's anything else that maybe we can add on in a future follow-up video so let's get into it so the one thing i want to start off with okay is that since we've pretty much established and it has been confirmed from nasir the creator himself i mean not a hundred percent confirmed but is i mean come on my man went out of his way he didn't have to do that he went out of his way he responded to my video about the vegeta time theory uh situation anyway so if you haven't checked that out please go ahead and check that out uh you know whenever he said that we're basically we're on the right track and figuring out exactly what the hell is going on so this whole time travel thing is not completely out of the realm of possibility at all as a matter of fact i feel like that's exactly what's happening so that question also now ties back into broly because if we're going to believe that vegeta that fought him to save goku preventing him from dying came from the year 31 xx af right well who's to say that bro this broly wasn't also from another timeline or around that time that is very unclear as to where he came because let's think about this you have to ask this question because again this goes back to where this story takes place this story starts at episode 137 of dragon ball during the tournament that was taking place and the fight between goku and chi chi if you go back go to crunchyroll right now i dare you pull out 137 and you're gonna see goku versus chi chi this is where this story takes place that's where it starts right so how in the world did broly know where goku was gonna be broly seems to be on some sort of a mission all right because this this is a part of one of the reasons why I believe that this version of Broly already is written so well. He has a purpose here than when he was just Z Broly. Z Broly, he was literally just a savage beast with no actual direction. He just wanted to kill Kakarot for literally no reason. But the reason that I basically pinpointed was that for some <laughs> for some reason, this dude was mad that as a baby, Goku was crying right next to him as he was also a baby. So it's like you have to wonder like like, did Z Broly have, like, the most OD memory? I know not a lot of people remember a lot of things when they're infants, and that's normal. But how the fuck did he remember that shit? To the point where he brought that memory all the way. And, and for some... And yo, and this is how intellectual this guy is. As far as, you know, like, he's all brute and everything all beefed and muscles, right? Dude, 
Think about this. How did he even know his name? See, that's what I'm saying. It's crazy, right? Like, first of all, he has a great memory, and now he just knows all the baby's names. Like, Broly is so freak-like. He just came with all this knowledge out the womb, right? That's what sets aside Z Broly from this Broly, because at least here, he keeps all of those monstrosities, but it seems like that Broly is here with a reason he's here with an actual purpose because again he knew where exactly to go so that's one of the big first things that i wanted to point out because we have to ask this question is broly also from another timeline you'd have to imagine he is but then again i mean now that i'm thinking about it he does look a little bit younger <laughs> if we're gonna combine all these ideas with where certain characters are like if we're gonna think hypothetically like that then i guess there could technically be a broly at that point in time even in the dragon ball continuity like the original continuity so i mean either way it's a question that you have to ask is he from another timeline or not or is he also from the same timeline that they're currently in right here but he was obviously sent from somebody who that somebody can be we still have no idea however the other thing that I wanted to point out. So Vegeta pointed out the gold that you fashion, right? He said, the green lights, the gold that you fashion, right? He specifically pointed those two things out. Why? Because those are key points to this character. Clearly, having green light seems to be a very unique feature and a very unique thing to the Saiyan legend who is broly in this continuity right but the fact that he pointed out the gold you have to wonder are these still playing the same roles as they played in his original continuity because clearly in z broly's time what happened he was wearing all these jewelry pieces because paragus was trying to control him to control him when he was freaking out. And as you can see, he's only wearing them kind of literally as jewelry pieces. But I wanted to uh, play this part really quick, not because, you know, I'm biased, but watch what happens when he transforms. <laughs> okay, the headpiece breaks off completely similar to what happened when he first transformed back in Z Broly, right in that movie when this shit wasn't gonna help control him no more that shit broke but the difference is i mean we don't see anyone here trying to control him unless you know that that equipment got upgraded over here in this continuity right i feel like we should pay more attention we should definitely pay attention to this goal because what if these pieces of jewelry correspond with other characters that we have yet to see these are things that we have to of course keep in mind the oh this next point is actually this is where things really get interesting right so the next part that i want to talk about bob broly right is his scars okay the scars are very very important i believe okay naturally let's go back a little bit before he truly powers up right so when we see him as is all right all ripped and shredded right he's got scars first of all how the fuck did he get these scars where did he get these scars from who gave him these scars this is almost going back to where i was talking about is he even from the same timeline has broly been a weapon used to fight other people in other random spots did Broly have a purpose to hate on Kakarot because it was Kakarot that could have possibly given him those scars. Hmm? These are the questions that we have to ask because again, if we're to believe that there was another Goku in maybe the, the timeline Vegeta came from, maybe Broly's from the same timeline as Vegeta, right? Let's just say that for now. And they are going all over the place broly's getting sent to all these different spots to try to def to kill like every kakarot possible right let's just say that for now how about this thought that the scars are literally like <laughs> parting gifts from when he got defeated by goku every single time that's a good enough reason for me to believe that that's why he has a grudge against goku this time around it's not like something that he just blindly, aimlessly just had hatred for. You know what confirms this idea? At the very end. And I'm gonna play that, John, right now just for y'all can understand what the fuck I'm talking about. Vegeta. 
it seems like Broly has it out for people that defeat him. So because of that idea, remember, Broly never came with scars like this, right? When he literally, he came in this continuity with scars, that's battle damage. That tells me something. That tells me, yo, how'd he get those? Who gave them to him? And clearly, this man got rocked all the way to the moon. So far away from, from where they was fighting. Bro, I'm telling you. The fact that not only did he take another L, let's just assume that he'd been taking, he'd been holding L's, right? From other types of continuity Gokus or whatever. Now that Vegeta is on that list officially because they both did it at the same time. Now Broly has it out for Vegeta as well. Bruh. That's gonna be fire. That's gonna be fire. Hold on to that though, guys. Because I mentioned the scars, right? So now what this also ties into specifically, okay, is this idea that in this story, in this continuity, I want you guys to think outside the box a little bit more here, okay? In this story, would it be so far-fetched to believe that Broly and Goku are somehow connected to one another? And why would I think this? Well, whether he was sent on a mission to take him out or not, the fact of the matter is, is that there is a distinctive reason as why they have this rivalry in the first place. One is super strong. One is known as the Saiyan legend. The other unlocked a form known as the savior from heaven. I feel like those two names are just indicative of how strong they are but i want y'all to pay attention to something here when broly transforms into his super saiyan state you notice the scar on his chest it lights up this is his primal light he is out here and even even the, the shit on his face is lighting up green as well as he's fighting vegeta broly of course he still, he see, he still keeps this green tint on. However, the moment Goku wakes his ass up and his primal light comes out, the out of control savior from heaven, despite him not even having a tamed form, and we're calling this the savior of heaven, as it says, it doesn't rule out that once he does really learn how to master that, it's not gonna just be like a new name. I feel like they're just gonna keep that. But look, Broly's scar is red. The marks on his face are also red. It's as if they are connected. This power, the Saiyan legend, the savior from heaven. I'm not trying to spit bars, but I am trying to make y'all think and wonder these things like are they related i have to ask this question i know that's far-fetched i know that's crazy but remember this is a different continuity there are different ideas that can be brought to the table that we cannot ignore because why is it that when this man woke up his son wukong savior from heaven form broly gets enraged and it's almost like that kind of boosts him up a little bit but his light it's almost like it's matching the same energy i'm not saying that they're equal but it seemed like they were for a little bit they were they were going back and forth they were trading and blows and all that stuff right but goku kept bringing it to him and he was out speeding him but look see broly got a, a couple hits in but it was clearly goku that really did him in he had the advantage and the upper hand but i'm i'm saying yo the fact that he did not have that red john so it's either you can believe you could take it like i'm saying now or you can understand it that in the sense that okay maybe broly just powered up maybe he just powered up and the light that was shining off of his scars literally on his chest and his face just went red you can think that too i mean that's fine right but think about this why didn't his hair change color there's so many questions right there's so many things statements to be said and to discuss and to be discussed right but the thing is to plug right this was a comment that uh this came from pika punch 12 so shout out to pika punch all right pika punch said this in in the comments i forget why on what video but that this idea that broly's uh primal light reacted to goku reacted to goku's primal light so i'm expanding upon that with the idea what if they are related in some sort of way like maybe they are like connected whether they're brothers or cousins distant cousins something along those lines because again there's a reason why vegeta wanted to go save goku Clearly, Goku is meant to literally be exactly what his new form states, the savior from heaven. The Saiyan legend is clearly as strong as he is and is a problem because it seems like if he was to have fought Goku without there being any of this awakening moment, he probably would have taken him out no problem. So there's a lot of things that we have to really 
consider and think about okay so my last thing that i want to talk about here about broly right is this is kind of a big one this is kind of a big one this is a crazy idea but again y'all can all take this with a grain of salt if you like it obviously let me know if not you can tell me how nutty i am but hey man this shit is so it's super fun to talk about so the last theory that i have or not really a theory but the last question really that i have for broly right is still about these scars you can argue that the lighting here that's emitting on broly is basically because of like whatever moon crater that he landed he crash landed into right it's all red and everything so that's obviously why this man is you know obviously his skin is red because of the light right but I don't think that's the reason why his scars are still red because his scars are still red his eyes now are red and if we know broly we know that the more he fights the stronger he gets especially when he takes these l's and then this happens the camera fades to black and we're left with this image now i don't know about you but i want to show y'all something and compare this to something that maybe some of y'all might have thought in the back of your head but i will tell you this this is completely me when i say the first thing that came to mind when i saw that it resembled an ape and then i immediately thought of my man caesar and now obviously caesar he's not cut up or anything like that but he has a similar look so what am i trying to say guys i think that the next time we see broly not only is he gonna be stronger but he's gonna be way more closer to tapping into his ozaru this is a tease the scars the placement everything that it, that it's a fucking monkey that is a monkey bro that look at this shit and then look at my example bro it's 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 a stretch kind of but still think about it legend is doing something that people are not really really ready for no one was ready for what this was right no one was expecting the things to happen right i am now here again to remind you guys for this continuity it's already one thing we have to think outside of the box when with 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 shit that's happening in the main continuity but for this continuity yo i don't know man these possibilities are kind of wild but this is a tease bro this is a tease at what is to come next for broly the other thing i'm gonna throw this in as a bonus right broly got his arm decapitated that's never happened to broly before however if broly comes back stronger than before which is clearly you know the name of the game that's that's just broly in a nutshell imagine if he comes back with like a mecha arm because you know why not i don't know you know what i'm saying like that would be crazy that'd be od if he, if he came back with some kind of mecha shit not like mecha frieza but hey what if it was frieza that sent him I don't know. There you have it, guys. Those are all of my thoughts, questions, concerns, theories about Broly in Legend, A Dragon Ball Tale. If you guys enjoyed what you heard, what you saw, what you're thinking about now, please make sure you are leaving a comment and liking the video and subscribing if you haven't already. Like I said, I love talking about this movie. This movie has essentially changed my life and I'm very, very happy that this exists because it is a nice breath of fresh air to talk about something that is so good that's still related to Dragon Ball while not even actually talking about the actual Dragon Ball. <laughs> Also, quick plug, make sure you guys are supporting Nasir's Patreon over at the for the Stray Dogs studio to actually get their proper budget so that they can continue to work on more parts of this and other projects that Nasir has because Nasir is very talented. He's a very talented artist and animator. So if you guys haven't checked out his channel, I definitely highly recommend you do so because this man, he's got some talents and I'm sure that Nasir is going to want to put a lot of that time and energy into some of his original stuff. Not to say that this isn't because obviously it is because I mean, my man low key just made this shit better than Toriyama. <laughs> So make sure you guys are subscribing to the Patreon. Hopefully he does put a Kofi up. I did tell him to make a Kofi account. So I'm hoping by the time this video comes out, he has that account up. So that way we can just keep dumping money into his pockets. Like, share, subscribe, me up on Twitter. All that good stuff. Supporting links will be in the description. As always, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay the hell inside. I'll see y'all next time.